And as I mentioned earlier, multiple Taliban attacks in southern Afghanistan on Saturday have left eight people, including six suicide bombers, dead and 29 others injured. The militants claim the attacks were part of their spring offensive. They cast doubts on how successful the NATO-led force has been in its year-long campaign to establish security and stability in the former Taliban stronghold. Yang Wei Han has this report. Shortly after midday, the Taliban unleashed a major assault on government buildings throughout Afghanistan's main southern city of Kandahar. At least eight locations were attacked, including the governor's compound, the mayor's offices, the intelligence agency headquarters, police stations and two high schools. Gunfights between the militants and security forces lasted for several hours in at least three locations. The attackers at the governor's compound were finally pushed back around nightfall. Panic swept the Kandahar as the violence took place. It was around 13 local time when we were eating lunch, and suddenly shooting started. And right now the situation in the city is very bad. All the shops are closed and no one can go out. All the security forces have closed the roads. The Afghan government says it has no accurate information on how many attackers were involved, but a Taliban spokesman says more than 100 militants flooded into the city with the aim of taking control of it. The spokesman also says the attack were unrelated to the death of bin Laden. Intelligence agencies insist that Afghan security forces are still in command of Kandahar. Saturday strikes were the most ambitious in a series of recent high-profile attacks on government installations. It also showed that Taliban's determination in the face of a massive international push to remove them from the city that was once their capital. The Taliban has promised more large attacks as part of a spring offensive. Yang Han, CCTV.